In this demonstration, I'll be speaking about the TigerGraph User Interface Toolkit, the Financial Crimes Avoidance uh, version. Uh, when we come into the application today, we'll be walking through a scenario, and again, this can be used for multiple use cases, but in our example, we'll be talking about uh, different kinds of AML crime, and again, this can work for credit card fraud uh, and other kinds of fraud uh, as we walk through this. The first thing that we see inside of the uh, toolkit is the idea of doing dashboards. In this case, I have the ability to filter, uh, and again, these are building dynamic queries uh, to TigerGraph uh, via G-SQL. Now this could also be an integrated or a plug-in version. Perhaps you have Actimize or Tableau or a homegrown system where you already have that. These different widgets can plug in there or vice versa. Uh, in this case now what I'm doing is I'm looking at different kinds of fraud alerts and trends. These are typically written either as algorithms or accumulators in TigerGraph and these are connected via REST endpoints and that's what the toolkit allows me to do. I can see things like geography. Uh, I can see different kinds uh, of views. So I can see them in a map view, perhaps, et cetera. And again, now what I start to see are different elements. I see, in this case, I have an automated set of groupings. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm recommending that transactions that are coming in uh, to TigerGraph, I've run some, again, those algorithms uh, or accumulators that are now telling me I have batches or smart items here. In this case, I have 84 transactions that are connected or similar. Now I can click on that and go view that. Um, the second thing that I can see now are alerts. These are triggers and again, elements inside of TigerGraph that are firing. And these can be simple queries, uh, mathematical queries, or different kinds of algorithms uh, as we do that. And then I can see down here on the bottom, I have cases. These may be cases that I work on before they turn into SARS, et cetera. And again, your use case may vary as we click through these. But one of the widgets we start to see now is as I click on this alert queue, uh, what I've done now is this can potentially be in real time. So I'm getting uh, uh, streaming data off a of Kafka queue. I'm seeing other kinds of information coming in where those algorithms are fi firing. Uh, what I can do now is I can do some simple filtration in this screen, et cetera, um, and, and where I don't want to see certain kinds of things. I can go see only new uh, kinds of things, et cetera, and I want to look at different kinds of elements that are in there. <clears throat> in my first one here, I see that I have perhaps a, uh, an alert in this case where I have 16 connections. Now what I'm doing is I'm seeing in the toolkit now, I'm seeing an alternate view of what I see in the graph. I see potentially... 16 connections via my uh, graph connected model where perhaps I have either a blacklisted or a known uh, bad person who is using a cookie or an IP and this particular uh, transaction is similar. So in this case, I'm recommending to the human, uh, you should probably uh, deny this or we should take an action on this, right? And so I have the ability up here to do just that. I can create, and again, these are customizable here for different kinds of actions in your organization, et cetera. Um, and then I can see things like history that I have inside of TigerGraph of the different events uh, that have uh, occurred. The second thing that I can do now is I can actually go do a free form investigation. In this case, um, I may want to just do a simple search, right? So what I'm doing now is perhaps I want to look at an existing uh, SAR or investigation that happens, and I want to find out if there are individuals or persons uh, that may be linked to an existing investigation. In this case, we see our friend, uh, which is typically called a node diagram, uh, that's part of our toolkit here. I have the ability to come down here and pick a different attribute. In this case, it's a risk score that I perhaps have run inside of TigerGraph. Um, and then by simply double clicking, you'll notice that I'm not writing any code here, no G-SQL, et cetera. Um, but a lay person now can begin to investigate uh, what these different elements are. And as I do this now, you can see I can open the different nodes. And again, this data lives inside of TigerGraph. Um, I can actually come over here now and I can come in and show different ways of viewing this. Perhaps I want to view this uh, in more of a left to right uh, style, or if I want to go in and, and see this in more of a vertical style, it's really up to the user. And again, I can deselect the different attributes that are in TigerGraph. The second thing that I can do here is I can actually see it in a geographic uh, style. So now I can take and co-view this uh, or co-visualize this where I see both of these. And then the third item uh, that I can see over here now is I see different kinds or attributes that again are inside of TigerGraph. You can see I've run a risk score here and perhaps uh, that's what uh, I'm doing here. So these are just a few items now of the uh, TigerGraph uh, fraud uh, toolkit.
and we hope that you join us later.